So, you're trying to get your tier 90 necromancer? Tell us, get, no, get, get off the, get off the mic, you can't have the ox, bro. We're going to show you how to get your 0% enraged Telos kill like it's a walk in the park. Let's jump right into it. For this guide, my basic assumption is you already have Telos unlocked. If you don't, I suggest you look up on the wiki on how his door is unlocked. This guide is meant to be a very basic way to survive a kill. Use this as a baseline where you can layer on more, just making it that much easier later on. Let's first look at the gear setup. A full set of tier 70 death dealer. In my kill, I had all tier 70 except the pants. Those were 60. Tier 70 skull lantern and death guard. Blood amulet of fury. Luck of the dwarves if you have it. Vamp prismora. As you see, I don't use it in my kill. So if you're nervous, go ahead and turn it on just to feel that much more safe. Pack yak or other beast of burden. Again, this is just a safety net if you're feeling worried. For your inventory, as I told you, we're going for simplicity and not to be optimized. One overload potion, one to two prayer potions, ectoplasm, and a ton of sailfish or, you know, any other food that you prefer. Don't forget to load up your beast of burden if you're using one. For items to consider that just make your life that much easier, capes, death storm drape or better, and again, you can use higher tier overloads. For your ability bar, you'll want to use both a revolution bar to auto trigger abilities and a few manually triggered abilities. For the revolution bar, you'll want the following. Death Skulls, Conjure Skeleton Warrior, Conjure Vengeful Ghost, Necromancy Basic Attack, Touch of Death, Soul Sap. For the manually triggered abilities, you'll want access to the following. Surge, Volley of Souls, Finger of Death, Freedom. In terms of your talent tree unlocks, all you'll want is the following. Command Skeleton Warrior, Conjure Vengeful Ghost, Spirit Pack 1, Spirit Pack 2, Spirit Pack 3. Now let's look at the fight. Keep in mind this guide is meant to help you brute force your way through a kill. I will not explain every possible Telos mechanic to you and make it more confusing. I will however make sure that you understand how to not get one hit killed. Get yourself through a single kill first. If you love the boss then great. You can learn more on how to counter abilities you notice hit you the hardest. Telos has 4 phases below 100% of rage and just a few repeating mechanics worth noting. We'll step through these one at a time. First for key mechanics and things to note the whole fight. Telos' stun attack. When Telos says, hold still invader, you want to use freedom and move away before he jumps on you. If freedom is on cooldown, just straight up tank the hit. Don't stress if you mess this up. Just remember that it will turn off your prayer, so turn it back on when you get a chance. Praying melee is always a safe bet. However, you will only use melee and magic prayers. Remember this rule. If Telos is hip thrusting towards you and shooting balls, just pray magic. Telos is swinging his arm, pray melee. This is not a perfect rule, but for the sake of this guide, it'll do. You will be praying melee most of the fight. So honestly, if you forget this, just pray melee, you'll make it through. Beams of light during the phases. Never let Telos stand in them. You are okay to stand in all of them. It's even better if you can lure Telos away so neither of you are standing in them. There is more to these beams that is good to know for higher enrages, but use this rule for the 0% and learn more if you want to. Now, let me run you through each phase. Phase 1. You will want to enter the instance with 100% adrenaline if possible. Jump down, then summon both your skeleton and your ghost. Sip your overload, pray melee, and walk towards Telos. Let revolution do its thing. When you've captured 3 souls, go ahead and use volley. When you have 6 or more necrosis stacks, go ahead and use finger of death. This rule applies for the whole fight. I'll be straight up with you. You can literally tank all of Telos' hits this phase, but it's not a bad idea to try to dodge a stun attack. Again, this is when he says, hold still invader, and you'll want to use freedom and move out of the way before he jumps on you. Don't stress if you mess this up. Just remember that it will turn off your prayer, so get it back up when you can. The second item to watch for in this phase is going to be the green beam. Just stand in front of it so it doesn't hit Telos. It's that simple. Once he hits 300k health, you can move into phase 2. In phase 2, you will follow the same basic rules as you did in phase 1. There's just a few items to note. The first item, you'll want to go ahead and try to lure Telos away from the black beam as it charges up a special attack. If you cannot lure him away like what happens to me in this clip, 
Just stand in the black beam and block it from Telos. This beam just makes it so you give less damage, but you also take less damage. Standing in it will just make the fight a little bit longer. If you accidentally let Telos charge up his attack, just remember, standing in the beam equals less damage, so it's not a bad option. You will know when he's using a special attack once it's charged up and you see it reduced one chunk at a time. Get him down to 200k health and it's off to phase 3. Keep following the rules of phase 1 and 2. This time just focus on the red bar. Left is good, right is bad. The green marker will move towards the right if Telos is being hit by the red beam. You will also spawn minions that will help increase the bar. Ignore them and just focus on not letting Telos get inside the red beam. If you let the bar get all the way to the right, he'll use his hard hitting nuke attack. You can see in my kill, I triggered the attack and I was still okay. If you think you will trigger the attack, just eat up and keep eating through the attack. Get him down to 100k health and you're off to phase 4, the final phase. In phase 4, you're going to follow the same rules of all the other phases. The only difference here is you're going to be interacting with 3 fonts and no color beams. Easiest rule to follow here is to always stand in a font. By doing this, you will ignore one of his attacks. Walk away if you're trying to dodge the stun attack and just walk back in. Each font will be the exact same thing, so let's run through it. As a disclaimer, this is going to be the heaviest eating phase. Font 1. Telos will attack normally until 75k health. While standing in the font, pray melee. Kill all of his minions that spawn. Once Telos destroys the font, finish off any remaining minions and surge to the second font. At this point, pay attention to the blue bar below Telos' health. Once it's full, expect about a 5.5k hit. You will only get this one or two times during phase 4. For font 2, Telos will attack you normally until 50k health. Again, do the same thing. Pray melee and kill the minions. Now expect a hard hitting attack once he destroys the font. Font 3, Telos will attack normally until 25k health. Again, do the same thing. Pray melee, kill the minions. This time, however, once Telos destroys the font, just leave any minions left and focus on attacking Telos. If you're lucky, Mark of Death from your power armor will instantly kill him, or you just need a DPS 25k, which will be really fast. Boom, your first Telos kill. Now let me be clear on how much you can actually mess this up with the basic gear in this setup. In my kill, I experienced five uppercut attacks, I dodged zero. I experienced five stun attacks, I dodged one. I set off Telos' special attack in phases two and three. Lastly, I tanked the bomb hit in phase four. After all that, I still had three sailfish left. So I know you got this. That's all I got for you. So good luck, and I'll see you out there in Gilinor. Peace. Sabe how to hold a pull up Soon as we done I'ma roll up Full lines are better I pull up